Welcome! In front of me is a Samsung Galaxy A55 and today I will show you how you can hard reset this device through recovery mode. Now that being said, uh, doing such a reset will allow you to get rid of a screen lock if you have one set that you don't know. Uh, if you know it then that's great, uh, you can progress by providing the screen lock or while trying to turn off your device just to kind of showcase this. So you just pull down your notification. Select power button and choose power off. But if you try to do it while not knowing your screen lock, Samsung obviously just goes around and decides to be the most annoying company out here. Actually, no, I take that back. Apple is the one uh, taking the crown here. But Samsung is a close second. Uh, in any case, um, this is completely pointless. It just infuriates everyone as all we need to do is grab a cable. It needs to be connected to your computer, again, because it's Samsung. So reasons, none. Uh, and this is just so we can boot our device into recovery mode. The connection to computer is, you don't need to agree to anything as it doesn't really matter because it's not like it's doing anything with the computer. It's just done to annoy you. So once you have it connected, um, we don't need to provide the screen lock. If you know your screen lock, you can do it and turn off your device. If you don't, hold power button, volume down and start interacting with the display just so you know when the phone forcibly reboots. Once that happens, you want to switch from volume down to volume up. And that's how you basically show middle finger to Samsung and their garbage. And when you see the Galaxy logo, make sure to let go of the power button. And voila, we are in recovery mode, which also means that we can get rid of this uh, annoying cable as it was only needed to boot us into here. Something that every other device does without a cable. Uh, anyway, from here, uh, you'll see that we're probably missing a bunch of options that used to be here, like bootloaders, fastboot modes, and all that stuff. You know, everything that Samsung decided to remove from you. Anyway, uh, using volume buttons, you want to scroll down and select wipe data, factory reset. Once it's selected, confirm it with the power button. Uh, then select the second option, which for some reason, uh, it just changed the language to polish. Go figure, Samsung technology. So anyway, we're going to just confirm it with a power button, the second option. Give it a second, it's going to say that it's wiping data and they, then data wipe complete. Back into English, by the way. And from here, reboot system now should be selected by default. So we're going to press power button once more, which will initiate a reboot of the device and continue the resetting of it in the background. Now, I should have mentioned this before. That kind of almost my memory. Uh, but when doing such a thing in order to remove a screen lock, uh, you will usually basically need to verify afterwards either the screen lock or the Samsung or Google account that was signed in. Now Samsung obviously going to prioritize their accounts, Samsung accounts, if you have both. But if you only have Google account, then obviously that will become the verification method, specifically also if you don't remember your screen lock. And without providing either one of those, you actually won't be able to finish up the setup. So you're kind of going to be stuck there. And at the time of recording this reset, there is no way to bypass the Google verification or Samsung verification uh, in the setup process. As far as I know, there used to be, but it looks like Samsung did finally, after about a decade, finally patched every kind of vulnerability. So, yeah. In any case, as you can see, the reset is now finished and you can set up your device however you like, which for me, the device is locked. As you can see right here with this lock icon, so I do need to verify mine. Now, with that being said, if you found this very helpful, don't forget to hit like, subscribe, and thanks for watching.